Hello friends, hello. I'm here to talk about what is CG. I'm here to talk about what's VFX. See you later. Shall I complete my sentence first? No, let me do it first. VFX is short form of visual effects as a process in which a computer imaginary is played. You know what? Hello friends, glad to see you again. Let's talk about what is VFX and CGI. Nowadays, these are buzzwords in film and entertainment fields and we often get confused about what is the difference between VFX and CGI. Let's clear that now. Let's start with the basic question. So what is CGI? It is the acronym for Computer Generated Imagery. And they are images created digitally using computer graphics. It can be a 2D or a 3D image. So before we go in detail, let's quickly see what is VFX. VFX or visual effects are a way of mixing real film shooting with a false or animated images. Let me explain. Okay. This is how I shoot myself. I have a green screen behind me. I'm on a live shot. Now I'm going to change my background. Going to bring a false background. But that's not computer generated image. Now I have a false background. In case I need to bring some animated characters into the scene, so what can I? Um, uh, uh, I think I have one. Uh, this is CGI animation in VFX. Most of the complex VFX are done with CGI. Whenever there arises a need for making some of the scenes, that could not be captured using live shot for reasons like they are expensive or dangerous stunts or you need to have some imaginary characters into the scene then VFX and CGI comes into picture hand in hand. These are created in post-production and made realistic to resemble and blend with the original footage. There are animations which are done completely with CGI. All the characters, environments and every details you would see in the movies are computer generated. For example, movies like Ice Age, Kung Fu Panda, and Toy Story are completely CG animated. Now that we have seen at high level about VFX and CGI, let's see the process in which these CG animated characters are created. I'm going to explain the key steps in which a CG animated character is created from scratch and brought to virtual reality. First step is modeling. Building 3D characters, environments and properties related to any CG animated movies is modeling. Generally, it is converted from a 2D reference image into 3D wireframe models. Once they are modeled, then come the sculpting, which means making sure the characters look good and as expected from all possible angles. Once they are modeled and sculpted, then comes the rigging. It is a process of designing how the character moves, placing the bone structure and proper joint movements for the character. This also includes the skin deformation and wrinkle as the character moves surface and texture the process in which the character is given colors and textures to the skin and body to make them look realistic as per the character properties for example making a glass look so shiny or a metal look rusty or to give a proper skin texture and color to the character and especially how the light interacts with the surface of the created object or a character having said that lighting the key element which helps to blend the cg animated character with the live footage the lighting of the CGI character should match the lighting direction and intensity of the live footage in which they are blended. That gives the realistic feel to the viewers. That's why physicality is the first and foremost the most important aspects of the performance in VFX. As the characters generally exist in a live action environment, the audience needs to believe the character's physicality. So the question is, is VFX and CGI different? Actually, when it comes to media and entertainment field, CGI is part of VFX. When VFX is used to generate images in post-production of a movie, the images might contain models and miniature or elements generated by a computer which are CGI. Though they are closely related, it is possible to create VFX without CGI as well it is possible to create CGI outside of a VFX content. Hope you found the video useful and if you wanted to say something and if you uh, like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.